What is going on everybody? It is Arwing Master here and welcome back to more of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode we woke up Talon with the with this here rooster and when he realized that Malin was looking for him, he went crazy and ran all the way back to the ranch. So, to be continued with Malin, we'll come back to the ranch and see her, but after we see Princess Zelda. So these, um, these blocks that were right here, I already moved them over here. So that way it'll make... Oh, that way it'll make a platform for us to jump from. And we're going to sneak past the guards in this castle. <clears throat> this always reminds me of the ones in Spear Tracks where you sneak past as well, and you pretty much use Zelda to distract them. <laughs> but this, but in this game, Link is alone. Zelda is on the other side of this courtyard. Careful not to fall for this one. Otherwise, the guard will catch you landing on the grass, which would be pretty funny, but very frustrating because you would have to start over. Come on, move! This other guy's gonna catch me. Okay, thank goodness. And let this other guy go. Please. Thank you. Now, this other guy won't catch me if I just sneak by like this. Ah, <sighs> made it! Home free! I'm home free, baby! On to Princess Zelda! <coughs> Exclamation point! Who... Who are you? How did you get past the guards? With my stealthy... Stealth mission skills. That's how. Oh, what's that? Is... is that... A fairy? Then, are you... are you from the forest? Then... then... you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? Yes. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Dot, 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 dot. Link? Strange, it sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link, I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Okay. The legend goes like this. The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. 
If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world would be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. Some of the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with the stone wall called the Door of Time. And, in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yes, I did. That's great! I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Yes. Ooh. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. What are you looking at? What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning, yet. Dot 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 Yes, I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please, okay. Thank you. I don't believe you. <laughs> I, I'm afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power but it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. You receive Zelda's letter. Wow, this letter has Princess Zelda's autograph. Set to Seastick. Yes, we know you can equip that. And there's Impa. I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There, there is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Memorize the song. Very simple. Left. Up right, left, up right. You learned Zelda's lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Alrighty then. I'll bet Impa has stealthy stealth mission skills as well. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. 
at the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. Where'd she go? Navi, did you have any idea where she went? No response? Alright then. Um, before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and head to Long Long Ranch to play Pona her song, because that attracts the Pona. And I'm gonna equip the Ocarina of Time for this. Oh no, that's the Fairy Ocarina. We get the Ocarina of Time later on in the game. I kind of like the funny cutscenes when you talk to people. I can't believe that I, the great Ingo, am working on this dump of a ranch. Because the owner is so lazy, I always have to do all the work around here. I, the hard-working Ingo, should be in charge, not that lazy bum Talon. So we're gonna head over here, and talk to Malin. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Hee <laughs> hee. Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? Seems like Epona. Okay, so... Maybe if I got out my ocarina. My mother composed this song, yes. If I got on my ocarina, she says that. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you going to play this song with that ocarina? Yes, I am. Up left right, up left right. You learned the Pona song. And of course we get to keep that song as adult link so we can attract a Pona more. She's grown fond of you, fairy boy. Yes she has. I also want to do one more minigame before we head to Kakariko Village, and that's in here. Mumble mumble, huh? I'm awake already! What? Well, I'll be, if it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got Malin back in a good mood. So, what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, and you say? Well, how about a little game? These three cocoons I have here are special super cocoons. I'm going to throw these cocoons into that there gaggle of normal cocoons. If you can pick out these three special birds from among the normal cocoons within the time limit, I'll give you something good. If you can't find them, I win. It'll be 10 rupees. You have 30. Start looking! Now, here's a tip. Pay close attention to the cuckoos that land there. That's one of them. Keep it up. Two more to find. Now, if I lose this, I'll probably do this in the next video. I'm 
really pay attention to the um, one that lay in there. But I managed to find two, so that's good. Time's up. Ah. Alright guys, let's stand things off this episode. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're going to continue with this minigame and go to Kakarika Village. Until then, Arwen Master out. Peace. <laughs>